passing, but we're still drinking. Life is passing us by, we're drinking last week's alcohol. I'm trying to keep this blog the topics I'm passionate about. Things like my marriage, the theater, fitness, singing, but there's more to life than those things, right? If all I think about is Broadway, I'm not really living life, and unless all the scenes and songs I'm given are about day jobs, workouts, and auditions, I won't be bringing much to them. So it's the beginning of February. There's only one really big audition this week. My dance teacher's out of town, and I'm in between sessions on my acting class. What to do with my time? I'm going to focus on anything other than my career in the performing arts. Well, judging from this footage, maybe focus is really the wrong word. We've just finished the busy season here at the old singing diner, and now we've got a little bit of time to regroup before audition season starts, and we give musical theater another good old try. So during this time, when the waiters outnumber the customers, I decided it would be a good time to invite a few people over to my home and talk. Talk about anything other than theater. Talk about the stuff that really matters. But first, there's this week's audition. And heck, a callback. But now... A callback for lucky guy. And, uh, do you ever have those days when you just feel like everyone around you is just better than you? Well, sometimes when you're at a callback and you're all dancing in front of a mirror, you can see that they're all better than you. Well, I don't think the sad should always be fought. You can't always have a nice learning experience. Sometimes you just have to be sad. Fortunately, I brought a few of my friends over here to cheer me up. This should be easy. That's a good baby. That's a if I've learned anything from Cheers, and I think I have, friends plus alcohol equals social commiseration. Yeah, there. I'm ready. Let's go. Knock it out. All right, I'm now pressed record. Fortunately, all my friends are actors, so carrying around a camera and telling them to act natural is like asking a narcoleptic to be perky. For a while. You have everything from where I just said that to the end, right? Before that, though, you're bouncing between two. Nick, I think I'll give you a little leeway. We did do a long warm up. Let's just see if we can. Let's just see if hey, we can. Hey, hey, let's hey, see hey. how long you can run them up. Hey. <laughs> I feel great. The good Kegel. And pulse it out. Long workout. Do you feel good? Say you feel good. I feel fantastic. Say I feel fantastic. I feel fantastic. Say I will do this four days a week every week. Say I will do this four days a week. I will do this four days a week every week. With cardio in between. With cardio in between. I solemnly swear. I solemnly swear. It's a dirty Puerto Rican. Hey. So maybe I need some new blood. I invited over after a day of work Kim. I've never hung out with her. She's never been to my apartment before. I figured I could get a fresh perspective on my life. This is a limited edition Target winter one. I tried really hard not to talk about Broadway and not to talk about myself. And I think giving us belt. Because belting is yelling. Belting is a sustained yell. And for you to yell at me, you have to earn it. Yes. Like are you defying mother uh, instead of discussing love, life, and loss, I put on William Finn music and made her sing harmonies to me on a duet she'd never heard before. I am a barrel of fun. But we did get some serious drinking done, so I guess the day wasn't a complete loss. I love him. I love him. But I swear I'm straight. No. No, indeed, we are not. I, he brought Chateau Diana, which is actually a wine club. I think my idea was that if the people start to outnumber me, maybe I'll talk about myself and my career less. But it turns out my friends are just as obsessed with musical theater as I am. Chris is refreshingly old school. He doesn't obsess about his own career. He obsesses about Liza's. Sigh, so shut up. You're going to play the piano. So they pull out a fucking stand. So, for my blog that's not about theater, Broadway, singing, or fitness, I've got about eight seconds of footage. How do you make yourself relax? I've never been any good at that. Maybe it's why I can't do yoga. I guess trying to force myself to stop thinking about theater is like trying to force myself to fall asleep. It might not be such a bad thing that I've got this passion that consumes me. Well, what am I doing now? Well, this week of drinking I got an email, an invite to come perform from a fellow who of all things saw my blog, not an audition, but saw my blog, and asked me to come sing some Cole Porter tunes. 
At a concert he was doing down the village, said he needed someone with old school sensibilities and a lower voice, the very things that I sometimes think stop me from getting cast. So here I am, committing to memory two standards to perform in just a few days' time. Not a hangover. There'll be plenty of time for drinking when I retire in the old actor's home. There's no such hungry yearning for you inside me. And it's torment won't be through till you let me see. 